Here is the Batmobile from Dawn of Justice, Batman vs. Superman. And this is a Mobius Models kit in 1 25th scale. Let's look at the very glossy box art here. This is the new rendition of the Batmobile. Let's look at the back side here. And another shot of the back side. Okay, so they actually did have a real vehicle that they used for the stunts and the filming of the movie. It's not just CGI effects for this. Let's open it up. Upon opening the box, first thing we see is a kit instructions. Looks like it's in color. And typical Mobius instructions where they give you not just black and white, but they do give you some color in there. Step-by-step -step illustrations on how to how to assemble it. Looks to be a little more complicated than most kits with the roll bars and such. Especially that contraption right there. I've already seen a couple build-ups of this kit out there. And what's nice here are some color shots. the back end. There you go. And then next thing we see are the tires. Must be the back tires. Very unique to this kit. Not real pliable, but they are rubbery. Smaller front tires. Okay. A little more pliable. No markings on the tires whatsoever. Then the first thing you see is the plastic cockpit. Bounce separately. A large bag of parts. And second bag of parts. A third bag of parts. And a fourth bag of parts. So I'll get these out of the bags and we'll look at them. Alright, the first bag had two sprues. Uh, the main body parts. We'll get a closer look. Very nice, fine detailed. Don't know if there's anything on the back side here. Nope, just looks like the shocks, but no details there. Next one is the belly pan underneath the chassis.
looks like the steering wheel. Next bag had two more sprues. Look at these parts. Looks like parts of the wings that this has. Part of the engine. Over. Some parts have details on both sides, some don't. Here's part of the roll bars. Next bag had two more sprues. Looks like we got some interior parts and some exterior parts. Look at the interior tub. This is really a kind of a curbside kit. It does give you some of the engine and some of the interior, but more like a curbside model than a, a traditional car model with a full engine. Turn this over. Really no details on the back side. I believe this whole piece opens up to gain access to the, the cockpit. More parts of the engine, the exhaust. The seats, some racing seats. Turn this over. Really not much going on there. These are the brakes, brake calipers. But not much more going on. All right, the last bag had two more spruce trees, and these look like the wheel wells, wheels and wheel fairings. Get a closer look. And yeah, this kit is molded in color, but you, you'll probably want to paint it. No details on the back side here. Some of the suspension components. Like the guns, more wheel fairings. And no other details, so to speak. And lastly, bagged separately are the clear parts, and there's just three of them. Looks like the the canopy for the cockpit. Nicely rendered there, and it looks like the headlights.
And there you have it. This is the newest rendition of the Batmobile from Batman vs. Superman. And uh, it's 125th scale. It's recommended 15 and up. I would not recommend this as for a beginning modeler, but more of an intermediate modeler. Um, there are some fiddly bits and some small pieces that will definitely give you a hard time. Other than that, it is a very nice model kit and I highly recommend it. Stay tuned for more reviews. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the bench.